Thank you to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video. Citizens of the Reject Nation, we have ourselves a trailer. A trailer for something that I honestly kind of forgot was coming out. Reason being is because, you know, nowadays you're always hearing about the constant spinoffs and things that are being put into development from all these franchises and IPs. I usually just wait to see if there's a trailer before I actually believe it's coming out. I've been so focused on Sonic the Hedgehog 3 that I haven't even put much thought into the Knuckles spinoff series, and I'm excited that we are actually going to be getting this show. We're, of course, watching the trailer for Knuckles. Thank you to all who let me know the trailer was out. It's a Greg Solo today. Couldn't get a hold of my main co-host, John. But either way, I'm very much excited for this. Inevitably excited, too, for the uh, breakdown from 3C Films. Chris, who is an amazing guy has an amazing YouTube channel. I've learned so much about Sonic via through him. If you guys are Sonic enthusiasts, you guys should really go watch his channel. Anyway, you guys know what to do. Leave a like on this video. Be very much appreciated. Also, tell me in the comments, what is your favorite part about this trailer? Who are you hoping shows up in this series? Let's do it. You're an alien. You're super powerful. Recently saved the world with your friends. Yes. What do you like that as it? Vengeance. Classic. Vengeance. I was thinking more like reading or, or, or oh. yoga. <sighs> so you're gonna be a series regular too? Hey buddy. Isn't it great to find Oh shit, Sonic Who oh, I am an echidna warrior. Yeah, you are. I only remain on Earth because I made a vow to you and the Fox. I wonder how much so Sonic is going to be here. myself at home! Nope, we are not turning our living room into some kind of gladiator fighting pit. <laughs> what is Ozzy doing here? He will be challenging his greatest enemy. <laughs> it's a Negan Is that our mailman? <laughs> <laughs> this is not a place of battle, so I will begin my quest. Oh shit, he's got the hat! <laughs> I think I'm a joke. I do not make jokes. <laughs> I make warriors. Oh, let's go get him. So, what's that guy's name? Wade? Is he the surgeon? Without his little friends, he's vulnerable. He's the key to all my newest creation. Is that the you hound? You for Robotnik. From Game of Thrones? Bring me knuckles. Oh, shit. Sorry, this lane is reserved. You think you can take my power? Yeah, like a bowling ball. <laughs> Do I look like I need your power? What are you talking about? Nice what callback. Power? It's the whole reason we're here. <laughs> oh, that's cool, man. They got the uh, they got the actual OVA hat. I made a promise to protect this oh, planet. Oh, so many images. <laughs> I am ready. Oh, oh shit! Someone's about to get slapped. <laughs> Fantastic. Whoa. I think today is going to be a beautiful day. Hmm? Ah! You going to rescue oh. him? No, he must learn to rescue himself. <laughs> Neato. Very neat. Oh, man, that looks really good. That looks like a really good time. I got some thoughts on that. But before going into that, do want to thank today's video sponsor. Big thanks to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video, a real game changer I've been using for years. That's right years. So whenever they want to work with us, it's an instant yes. You've likely heard about ExpressVPN for online privacy and security, but there's more to it than that. However, there was a very real incident recently with Spectrum shutting down my internet and contacting me due to a suspecting hacking attempt. And funny enough, I realized I hadn't actually activated my ExpressVPN on my new laptop that I got a couple of months ago. So I was paying the consequences. Having faced a serious hacking issue on YouTube a couple of years ago, that made ExpressVPN my go-to for both security and freedom. I mean it. And yes, what you've is true believe me this channel knows you can use expressvpn to watch movies and shows on netflix that are not available in your country this means accessing a vast array of content of over 100 countries like a global cinema at your fingertips it's super easy open expressvpn switch locations refresh the browser and there you have it whether it's k-dramas on south korean netflix hulu bbc iplayer youtube or more expressvpn has you covered and it's incredibly fast ensuring no buffering or lag for smooth hd streaming it's versatile too working on not just computers but phones media consoles smart tv 
TVs, and more. This means you can enjoy your favorite shows on anywhere, any screen. Protect and elevate your internet experience. So if you want to get access to hundreds of new shows, use my link, expressvpn.com slash rejects. And you can get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free. That's expressvpn.com slash rejects. So head to expressvpn.com slash rejects to learn more. Thank you again. You know, guys, it is pretty crazy to see how far we have come with the Sonic the Hedgehog live action franchise. Because I still remember, like many of you, when that first trailer came out for Sonic the Hedgehog and everyone was so upset by the design that they went back and redid the design. And the movie came out. People really liked it. The sequel came out. I, I like that one even more than the first one. Knuckles was the character that we were all so excited for. He was great in it. And this is a character that I do think would make a really cool, compelling lead character. To put it in a series format, I think is a really excellent call because, you know, with him being the Echidna Warrior, that's another thing that I really like about this. Knuckles is, is funny, and uh, I thought the movie really captured that. I remember in the marketing for Sonic the Hedgehog 2, they didn't even really lean so much into the comedy of Knuckles. They just lean into the badassery of the guy. And then you watch the film, and he is funny. And to my understanding, that's kind of like uh, it's kind of like how he is in the game. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but it, f my recollection of of fan association with the character, uh, and please do correct me if I'm wrong, but he did start off a little bit more, you know, like I said, badass. And then as time went on, they did kind of just lean more into the comedic element of him throughout the games. And what's cool about this trailer is I feel like you're going to get both. You're not just going to get the humor of Knuckles, but you are also going to get the true Echidna Warrior side of him. With it being a show, it also allows more opportunity for more character development, more character depth. And uh, while I, I do like the movies, this show we'll just give it more of an opportunity to really uh, flesh him out that much more flesh out the world flesh out the lore in a way that you don't feel like you have to like rush over to because you know like in, in in a movie you usually have like you, you got a quota of things you you do got to hit you got to have an action scene every you know this certain amount of minutes or or something along that line you guys know how movies work but with a series you get a little bit more time to breathe and you i feel like you can get more elements than just what you got from the films while still giving you the elements that you get from the films like there's so much about this that reminded me of the movies via through the human characters instead of getting you know james marson who sonic you know pairs up with you're gonna get knuckles partner up with the wade guy which i'm not i, I remember I, I don't really remember how i feel about wade i think he was all right I'm not like super excited about it he's not the reason i'd be showing up for the series but he does seem like he'd be the main human protagonist alongside knuckles here where he'd be i guess mentoring him in some way or showing him the ways of the echidna warrior uh which i feel like is a fun flip on dynamics and what's really cool and and i still am so wowed by this you know even though we're, we're in the day and age of like the golden age of television there's so many streaming shows with just fantastic visual effects that deserve to be seen on the big screen i'm still of the mindset a lot of the time that whenever you do a spinoff into a TV series, that I feel I, my my natural hesitation is that they're gonna dumb down the visual effects in some way, or it's gonna feel lesser than. Looking at this trailer, the effects and the quality are still up to the standards of watching a Sonic the Hedgehog movie. And speaking of Sonic the Hedgehog, I imagine it probably just being like the first episode, you know, just to to get that out of the way. That's usually what you gotta do is you know, instead of like building up and wondering when Sonic's going to come in, you just kind of like feed that appetite right away so you're not thinking about it the rest of the show. That being said, I don't know who else is going to show up in this series. I like how they just kept it pretty focused on Knuckles, the journey there, and uh, the hound. I don't know the actor's name. <laughs> it gets CC's here. What is that guy's name? Uh, but the hound. Well, I'm just going to pull up IMDb really quick. Rory McCann. My God, there's a whole bunch of actors in this. Carrie Elvis is going to appear here. Christopher Lloyd's going to be in here. Kid Cudi, Eddie Patterson. My God, you see, you do see Paul Shear in the trailer. Okay, so there's no Jim Carrey listed here, but he is confirmed to return for Sonic 3. And I, I don't know if, how much this is going to tie into Sonic 3. Like, is this going to be necessary viewing? Are they going to build out the cinematic universe of Sonic the Hedgehog to that degree? where I, I watch Sonic 3, and if I didn't watch the series, am I going to feel, like, left out? Or are they going to do that Marvel thing where they recap just, like, a couple of sentences that are required for me to understand the journey of Knuckles returning? Are they going to set up Shadow in some way in this series? So slowing down this trailer, I'm loving the designs of all the mecha suits 
And they're, I'm trying to find this one character here that it popped up for a brief sec. Who is this guy? Can you guys tell me in the comments below? Is this supposed to be like Knuckles' dad or something? Because it kind of looks like it looks like they could be related. And I guess the last thing is, you know, one thing with with characters, um, you know, you got Tails here, and then you know, at the end of uh, Sonic the Hedgehog two, you see the evolution of Sonic's powers, and I'm wondering how much of an evolution we are going to get. And, and Knuckles' powers, or if we'll, we'll see an evolution in power set. You know, you got Tails in the trailer as well. If we'll see an evolution there, like what are the upgrades going to be? Ultimately, what will the, the character arc be for the guy? Because, you know, Knuckles does have a character arc in the in the second movie, so I'm wondering what the specific journey is. Because it, it feels like really like clearly defined for Sonic in the, in the first two movies. While I, I'm looking forward to the uh, potential for better exploration for this character, at the same time, I am going, all right, what is going to be the specific journey this guy's going to be going on? And uh, I mean, I just watched the trailer one time. I should just watch it again, and maybe I'll be like, oh, I know what that answer is. But you guys tell me in the comments. You guys are smarter than me. Leave it in the comments below. Guys, what did you think about this trailer? I thought it was more than satisfactory. So, um, this is a pretty cool trailer, man. It's pretty sweet. Leave your thoughts down below. Be sure to subscribe. Uh, leave a like. Uh, we got more trailers, I'm sure, to cover coming out of Super Bowl. Talk to you all soon.